What up, you can I need a one second, that one second on me. And today, it's another new comic book day, eh? So you know what that means? I'm gonna go to my local comic book shop and pick up my pool list and show you guys around, eh, of all the new books that were released today and hoping we find, like, some variant covers, something like that one in 25 in sentence, which I doubt it because it's already five o'clock way. I just got off Halle and usually uh, the one in 25s, eh, those are the first ones to, to go, to go out the door, way. Everybody picks those up, eh? But, uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm gonna, let's go inside here and, uh, see, see what we find, eh? Oh, and and by the way, I gotta mention this. I know I haven't been doing these new comic book day videos on me in a while, eh? It's because I've been getting busy, eh? So I don't even have a chance to do them like I want to, you know? I want to stay consistent doing them every Wednesday, you know? Showing you guys other comic books that I, I'm re I'm currently reading or I'm picking up, eh? But I, I'll try to do them like every other week, on me. If not, I might skip like two weeks and I'll do one. But, you know, I'll still do them, but I won't be too consistent with it, eh? So I just want to let you guys know, eh? If you guys were wondering why I haven't done new comic book day videos eh, in a minute, eh? But, yeah, man, uh, let's go inside uh, my local comic book shop, eh? And pick up my pull list and take a look around. Over no, here, have Alien issue number one. I have a couple variant covers for that one. Which I think this one looks the sickest, eh? I think this is actually from the movie poster, no? I'm thinking, I have another one over here. Looking solid, eh? Some other alien goodness. Superman. Some dark horse goodness. I don't know who this was, UFC fighter on me. Some done. Which I'm really looking forward for the movie. That spine of the world. Some Excalibur, Firefly, Raven for Firefly, the Virgin Raven, and another one. The Power Rangers issue 5, Post Americana. Oh, damn, that looks, that's looking solid, way. That was a bully guys version of Captain America, way. Once in the Future, some Aftershock goodness, Miles Morales goodness. My issue, issue number three, War Packs, which I'm not reading now. When I was reading the first one, the first series they did, the one to five, how he became my issue. That was a pretty good read if you guys haven't read it. I have Lady Baltimore, Scream. This cover looks pretty dope, man. Say it. Joanna and the Impossible Monsters. Uh -huh, which I recommend you guys pick up this this freaking uh, book, man. It's crazy. It has to do with a bunch of clowns, way. We have Guardians of the Galaxy, Frank. I'm gonna have some more Power Rangers, Rabbit World. Which I might pick that one up, base eh? by Scott Comics. We have Rain King Hammers, which that cover looks dope. We have the Recount, some Red Sonia, Savage Avengers. Which was that for Cyclops way? Shadow Doctor, some Sonic goodness, more Sonic, Star Wars Adventures, and some more Star Wars and some Michelangelo, Taskmaster, which there's a new vid, a new superhero in this issue, which it's this for right there. There's some straight dogs. Some Dr. Alpha, some Star Wars Avengers. I like that little black on a white variant. This section, they have a Superman Action Comics issue 1029, the variant cover. Some black and white. Issue number four, some Batman and Superman, which is the first appearance of Spider Lady and somebody else. I forgot. There's uh, the variant cover for that issue. There's Harley Quinn issue what is it six book six which i stopped reading today i was reading it for a minute and then detective comics and there's a variant cover for that one which that one looks super dope and then harley quinn issue number one which i really wanted that neo variant cover man but they don't have it that was actually the one per store but there's actually an introduction of harley quinn's Best friend yeah, man, I just made it back to my pad, eh? and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. So, uh, first thing first, I picked up this Teen Titans Academy issue number one with a uh, red X in the front. I went with the variant cover, eh? Because look at this beautiful cover, looking solid, way. 
which uh, I haven't read this issue eight, but I did hear that they still haven't mentioned who Red X is, which I'm hoping is the Clown Hunter eight. But I was talking to the dudes at my local comic book shop, and they were saying that it might be a new character. Which if it is, I'm okay with it. You know, I was really hoping it was Clown Hunter, man. But it is what it is, eh? But yeah, man, I'm gonna check this uh, Teen Titans Academy. Hopefully, it's good. And then the second book I picked up was this Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, eh? Which I actually really wanted the freaking Peach Momoko variant. I think it was the one in 25, but I didn't find that in my local comic book shop. Which I ain't really tripping, eh? I'm pretty sure I'll find it on eBay for like 20 bucks, eh? But yeah, man, this book right here consists of three different stories, which I actually enjoyed the second one a lot, eh? It, it was written by Benjamin Piercy, which it takes place in the Midwest. Eh? It's about the sheriff that's hunting down the hunting down carnage, way. Eh? That was going town to town, killing everybody in sight, way. Eh? This was a savage. I don't want to spoil much, eh? But it's a really, really good read, eh? And then the third, the third uh, story was pretty dope too. Way eh? it had, it kind of they tried to control Carnage. They tried to make that fool like the next Angel Venom or whatever. The first one was pretty dope too. But uh, yeah, man, I, I'm gonna continue reading this um, Carnage Black, White, and Blood. Which, uh, by the way, they actually made a whole ring one of exactly the same too. And all the images in here, it's all white, black, and red way but they just you know they they try to make it sound more sinister so they put blood which is pretty dope eh? i'll show you guys the image so you know what i'm talking about eh? there you go you see i was just all white black and red sick eh? and the last book i picked up was aha issue number three with this uh, anthology series about clowns, which so far the first two issues were super great, man. I love it. I haven't read this one, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good too, way. Eh? And the writer for this, haha, is actually the same writer of uh, Ice Cream Man, which they said that Ice Cream Man was a really good read, which I haven't read. I have to, you know, jump on ship and read that. But uh, yeah, man, I actually picked up the cover A and I went with the variant cover. Beauties. Which they actually, uh, for issue number one, there was actually like a limited, uh, I think it was like a limited to like 300 or 100. Um, Baron cover of freaking Donald Trump on me dressed up as a clown. I'll put an image right here, which that one's going like for 100 bucks. I don't know if it still is a rock copy of that. But when, when they first uh, announced this was releasing or whatever, that issue was going like for 100 bucks. It might be going even higher now, way, because, you know, it's limited run and it's a Donald Trump in the front, way. But, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much, um pretty much it that i picked up today it was a pretty light week today but uh, i can't wait for next week though homie because next week department of truth issue was in seven homie is coming out which cool i, I cannot wait wait but uh yeah man uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video eh? and if you enjoy funko pops uh combo hunts funko hunts and, and funko unboxings hey eh? then you're in the right spot wait don't forget to subscribe hit that like homie and uh strike 89er out play